And they sent on their journey. Rascalian was probably slow a length than the starters said go, but he's going to make big inward strides to be a length and a half off them. So about four lengths off the first call. He's raced up to be two lengths off them, going to the 1100 metre marker. The grey Mr. Frosty first to respond. Another grey secret allows right there second. Mounted Warrior racing at the panels is in that third position. And Rascalian, after giving a length at the gates, is racing in fourth, only three and a half lengths off the leader. We're then going to find Garland towards the inside. Royal Exhibit's got about six lengths to hunt down. Red right hand, that is the next runner coming to the 600 metre marker, get some encouragement as they whip for home with just on 500 to go and Mr Frosty looks to get away by two. Rascalians now hooked to the centre of the course, mounted warriors on the outside. 400 metres to go, Rascalians still under the hands. Mounted warrior comes under the drive towards the inside, Mr Frosty. 250 to go, the favourite Rascalian comes bound into the lead. He gets one or two reminders, but not even a roadblock would have stopped this thoroughbred today. Rascalian, they put the money down like soldiers, and he won accordingly by five. Frostbite second, Mr. Frosty second, Mr. Frosty second, yellow cap, crimson king into the minor positions. Well, number 10, Rascalian, he gave away about a length start. And then turning for home, he just quickened up in championship style. The grey Mr. Frosty. Second, yellow cap Crimson King, mounted warrior. And further back in the running, yellow cap. So with 400 metres to go, Mounted Warrior came under the drive and Rascalian. Mr Frosty runs a big race on the left-hand side, but you'd always notice that Sean Veal had things under control and just gives him one flick coming inside the 200. And then he starts to draw away for the victory in race three. Back to the studio. Up one, uh, the odds on favourite has arrived. Rascalian, Vaughan Marshall, Sean Veal, Marsh Shirtliff, Bryn Russell. Well done, guys, down in Cape Town. Uh, Dr. Chris Singer, also well done to you, sir, breathing the sun of Vercingetrix. I think before, you know, I was uh, Vaughan about the source. Vaughan, you know, if anybody has been to Scottsville Race, Hollywood bet Scottsville, you know they got a, a wall of honour here. And uh, Vaughan, your picture is on there. That's, That's for, uh, more than 10. 10 uh, Graded winners, I think. Uh, that's why you get your pitch up there. Uh, it is, Dees. You're quite right, yes. <laughs> but it's a long time ago. <laughs> you must have <laughs> memories at this track. Any standouts for you? Yeah, oh, very much so. You know, Taban was, was the main one here. But uh, there have been lots of others and very privileged to have trained them. There's some uh, big names alongside you. Not that you're not a big name, Vaughan, but some uh, really great trainers on that wall. Yeah, they actually are. And, and it's a privilege to be there, really, at this, Dees. Great trainers, great uh, horses as well. This horse was Scallion. Yeah, on, uh, on behalf of the, the viewers, the punters, we know that the horse was fancied. We knew his odds, but always nice to get the green light uh, from the horse's mouth, so to speak. And thank you for telling us that he's your best. My pleasure, Dees. Yeah, he's, he's a very, very nice horse, you know, and he showed us that in Cape Town. But um, the pressure's always there because you just want him to perform. But uh, good luck to Bryn and to Marsh. Um, I think he's a very, very nice horse, and they deserve it. You decided to race him against winners first time. I know it was a small field, but that was a cracking good run behind a horse that's just flying down in Cape Town in Eric the Red. Yeah, very much so. But, you know, we had to keep the race going. I, I had three in the race. So, you know, I think there were only six runners. But, um, you know, we, we did it to keep the race going. And, and, but it was a good introduction for him and a good hard introduction. It's uh, about owners, their support during this trying time for everybody in the industry. And two stalwarts, Bryn and Marsh, involved in this horse. 
Yeah, very much so, Diz, and I'm, I'm really, I must say, a big thank you to all my clients, and I'm very privileged to have uh, the set of clients that I have, you know, and they, they really, really understand the game, and uh, it's just wonderful to train for those people. Um, in the previous race, it was Ken, Ken and Jane Truter and, and uh, uh, James Drew and, and Mike Fullard. You know, they've been around a long time, you know, and they understand the game, and, and uh, it, it's not our fault. Correct. Okay, 10 out of 10 for tipping your best run on the day. But just for the guys out there, the pick six starts off in the next leg. You've got some nice horses, Vaughn. Yeah, very much so. You know, I've got, uh, Joseph Barry is possibly my best, you know, and, and uh, he, he ran a, I think it was a head behind uh, Eric the Red uh, in, in that race you were alluding to. And I thought he was a bit unlucky in that race. Um, there was a bit of interference at a vital time. Um, but he, he's very well, and I'm hoping, you know. And uh, then we've got ben Benoche. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough task for her, but um, she's a very, very nice filly, having won three out of four starts. Uh, if luck goes her way, she'll be in the money. Brilliant job, Vaughan. Well done to your team. Thank you, Dees. Thank you very much. And thank, uh, thanks to Hollywood Vets for the, all their support and what they do for Natal Racing. Thank you. Fantastic. Vaughan Master, let's get the winning jockey in, uh, Sean Veal. Sean, uh, you know... You uh, will pick up rides uh, throughout the season. Some you'll have to work hard on. Some you'll just have to sit. This was one of the more impressive rides of yours this uh, season thus far, the way this horse has won. It is, you know, when you're sitting on horses like this, they do everything for you, you know. <laughs> From the first time he came here, Mr. Marshall rated this horse highly. And on the sand, he, he doesn't really blow you away, you know. But uh, I can't stand here and take all the credit, this. This was an aim. I must thank Anton all his work on this horse. But uh, at the same time, he was in two minds that this horse might need it. But when I came to this horse down today, this, I told Anton behind the start, I said, I won't move. That's the feel he gave me, and he blew them away. Just well done to Mr. Shirtliff and Mr. Russell in Cape Town, and uh, to Mr. Marshall, to MJ, sorry. I know he rates his horse highly, but uh, we are, yeah, we're doing the work. So I'm just grateful to Mr. Marshall, you know, myself and Mr. Marshall go, way back, so I'm just blessed to partner his first winner for the season. And obviously to LG Panel Beaters, thank you very much. To a good friend of mine, he's watching. He knows who I'm talking about, this one's for him. And uh, to my wife and my two boys, thank you very much for all the opportunities. Okay, okay. one on the board thus far. Balance of your eyes, Sean, you're always a big help when it comes to the exotics. Where can you help us? These, I'm competitive, you know. The three feature race, two, the three feature races, the Colts race, I, I rate Mr. Dry's Colt very highly. I think he's a massive runner. Golden Chant, I think she's a massive runner. And obviously, that was Cartel Captain. Don't leave him out of any of your bets. Just quickly, in that one of the juvenile features, did you make the choice there? Yes, I did make the choice, this, but my choice was made already a long time before he even had his first start because I think he's a very smart horse. And uh, he's still got to prove it today. He's taking on some nice two year olds, but I think they all got to come to beat my horse. Just one for the day. One, one more. more. The two-year-old and Cartel Captain and Golden John, I can't separate them. Thanks. Shot these. Okay, thank you. That's a wrap of our interview for race number one, which was the start of the place accumulator. I must get this time. 12.50, all things being equal, 10 to 1 will be the start of the big one up next at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, the pick six.